lane in North London lined by muse houses. What now looks like a modern one-family house used to be the stables belonging to a large townhouse. Today, it's Kate Halfpenny's home. Her five rooms are distributed over about 110 square meters on two stories. The glass floor on the terrace lets light into the kitchen. People began converting mews into dwellings in the late 1970s. They typically have unusual room layouts. Mews houses are so sought after and they're really unique and there's estate agents that specify just to sell muse houses and that's their, their unique kind of property and they're just unusual the fact that you know we've got the quirky little garage and it's not you know lots of the new builds in London now are very square and all very samey and what's so quirky about this muse and like many others the houses just aren't the same they're all they're all different the one over the road it looks like it's never been renovated however it's all you know behind that sort of broken down facade is an incredible home in there that's got five bedrooms and they're, they're all just really unusual and, and desirable. Kate designs luxury bridal fashions and she's an award-winning stylist. She works for magazines, advertising agencies and celebrities. She and her husband, a graphic designer, have lived here since 2009. The study used to be a garage. We are in the man cave. This is my husband's uh, pride and joy where he spends all his hours. married in 2012. In matters of taste, the two agree. A chest of drawers is proof of that. Kate had bought the sales counter from a disused dairy in an antiques shop years ago, to the annoyance of a man she didn't yet know. 15 minutes before I'd gone in the shop, um, my now husband had gone in the shop with his ex, his girlfriend at the time, his ex-girlfriend, and um, He'd seen the drawers and he said, I need to go home and measure to see if they'll fit because they're over three metres long. And he, um, he went home, measured, phoned the shop, said, it's like 15 minutes later, I'll have the drawers. He said, oh, it's too late. A designer's been in and bought them for her studio. He's like, who? And he's like, Kate Halfpenny. Kate loves mixing styles in art as well as decoration. She combines works by established artists with those of unknowns, one-offs, with mass-produced items. He's, um, he's just a, a very cheap find from Portobello Road that is actually repro plaster and was about five or ten pounds. So he's, he looks more precious than he is in the bell jar, but he's not. rooms in the upper story also bear the designer's signature. Her house and furnishing style have been presented many times in books and magazines. More and more often she's in demand as an interior decorator. The luxury of life for me is not having rules to live by and not kind of putting restraints on yourself. I think, you know, I went to a, a, a Catholic school as a kid and that we would, you know, there were so many rules and I think the minute I could break the boundaries of any of that, I did. So I don't, I don't put rules on the way that I hang my pictures. Kate Halfpenny's Muse House in London. It's hard to imagine it was once a stable, but animals still seem to feel very much at home here.